Hi, I'm Nessa and this is ESL Top 10. Thank you so much for watching. In this lesson, I'm going to show you 10 really common phrasal verbs with the verb run. start by looking at the verb run. Run, of course, means to move very quickly. You're, you're going faster than a walk, but there are different speeds of run. So if you're running really slowly through the park for some exercise, you're jogging. And if you have to run really fast to catch your bus, you could say you sprinted down the block to catch the bus or athlete sprint in the Olympics. But in this lesson, our focus is more on phrasal verbs with run. What's a phrasal verb? Just in case you're not sure, it's a main verb, usually a short common verb like look, do, make, with a preposition or prepositions. So I want to show you 10 really common phrasal verbs with run that you can use in your English to sound more informal. So the first one is an oldie but a goodie. You might know this one already. It's very, very common to run into someone. If you run into someone, you meet them by chance. You didn't plan to see them. As in, I ran into my classmate at the store or I ran into my old high school teacher at the restaurant. It was so bizarre. The next one is to run something by someone. To run something by someone means you show something to someone to get their advice and feedback on it. You could say, hey, I have the budget for this year. I'd like to run it by you before we have the meeting to run something by. My students could say, hey, I used uh, your some vocab in some example sentences. Can I run them by you, Nessa? Sure, I would love to look at them and give you my feedback. The next phrasal verb is run through something. To run through something. I always think of an actor um, practicing for a play or a movie, they're rehearsing the lines they're going to say in the movie. That's to run through something. It means to rehearse something quickly. Or if you're on a football team and you have football practice and you're practicing some team moves, some plays, some strategies, you could say, oh, we ran through a few plays on the football field today to run through. To run on means to go longer than was planned, to go longer than was expected. Some examples of this would be meetings can run on. So we had a meeting at lunch and it ran on by 15 minutes. Or maybe someone's presentation. It's supposed to be half an hour, but it's more like an hour. You could say, wow, that presentation really ran on. The next one is to run out of something. To run out of something means you use up your supply of something. So you have none left. I'll give you a couple of examples so you can see how it's used. Let's say um, you are driving and then all of a sudden you notice that the light for your gas on your car is blinking. Low on gas, low on gas. You could say, oh my God, I hope we don't run out of gas on the highway. <gasps> That'd be terrible. You could also say, hey, can you get some milk? We're running out of milk. So if you say we're running out of or I'm running out of, it doesn't mean you have none left. It means you have almost none left. You're talking about the process. You have less and less and less and less. We're running out of time. Run out of something. The next one, to run down. To run down something or someone means to tire or exhaust. You could use this for people as in having seven kids. Wow, that really runs me down. Oh, runs me down. You can also use it for your battery on your cell phone. If you're watching lots of videos on your cell phone or um, you never turn it off, you have it on auto lock so it never ever goes off. You could say um, having it on never lock runs down the battery. It exhausts the power. We often use this as an adjective as well. You could say, I'm, oh, I'm feeling so run down today. It's been a hectic week. Or if you've got a cold, you could say, you know, I have a cold 
and I'm feeling run down. Like a lot of phrasal verbs, run down has more than one meaning. So context is really important. Here's another meaning of run down. If you run down, this is a sad one, I'm sorry. If you run down a person, or usually a person, it means to hit someone with a car, usually by accident. So you could pick up a newspaper and see um, pedestrian run down by monster truck. So it means the person was hit. <laughs> Sorry. The next one is to run against someone or something. Usually someone. It means to oppose to uh, oppose another person or perhaps an idea. Usually in politics, I think about this. So let's say there is um, a leader, a president, who's running to be re-elected in an, in an election coming up soon. And someone is going to run against them. So they are opposing, they're competing against that president to run against. And another one, you probably have seen these in movies and articles, this one, to run away. To run away means to escape. So you can run away from home if you're a child and you want to escape your parents. Um, or let's say there's bank robbers and they rob a bank and they want to run away with the money before the police arrive. Don't rob any banks, please. And the last one is to run with something. Yeah, I think we should just run with it. To run with something means you have an idea and you decide to work on that idea and develop it further. So let's say you have a, an idea for a new chocolate business and you're like, I want to sell chocolate that has crazy flavors. And your friend is like, yeah, that's a really good idea. I think you should run with it. It means you should start working on that idea and develop it further. So those are my 10 phrasal verbs with the verb run. You can see how the prepositions change the meaning of the verb run. And that's why phrasal verbs are so awesome. If you love phrasal verbs and you'd like to get more practice in, you can download my phrasal verb mini cheat sheet with over 40 phrasal verbs plus uh, worksheets so you can get your practice in. There's also lots of examples and the definitions. I am Nessa. This is ESL Top 10 and I'll catch you here next time.